Hey, welcome back. I'm Kate Flannery, and I've got a minute. It's kind of weird being up on stage without a pole. What? My old comedy partner was Polish. Let's get back to the comedy before I do something I will regret and deny. You'll recognize our final act of the night as the yard sale diva on Style Channel's Clean House. She also appeared on one of the greatest shows ever, The Office. <laughs> Never heard of it. Okay, she's from Kentucky and she's as country as cornbread. Please welcome the beautiful, the funny, Trish Sir. <laughs> Y'all are so pretty. Yes, spirit fingers for this audience. Yes. <laughs> Gorgeous. Game. Okay. Uh, real quick, before we get uh, started, this is my voice all the time. Okay. Not coming down with something, not getting over something, and didn't just watch a Honey Boo Boo marathon. Before I used to do comedy, I used to bartend, and this little heifer walked in my bar. And she sat down, I said, hi honey, how are you? Can I get you something to drink? She goes, oh my God, you sound horrible. <laughs> well, actually, it's my voice all the time. She goes, oh my God, how awful for you. <laughs> right? So I walked to the other end of the barn, started plotting her death. And right then, y'all, she gave me one of these. Right when you want to just cut up. Okay. I walked back over, I said, yes ma'am. <laughs> She goes, um, my boyfriend, I'll have a Diet Coke and I'll have a glass of Chardonnay. You know what? I don't really feel comfortable serving pregnant women in my bar. <laughs> that heifer looked right at me and said, I'm not pregnant. I said, well, how awful for you. <laughs> you don't mess with a Southern woman. Uh-uh, hell no, uh-uh. We will rip your heart out, show it to you, and then bake it in a pie. <laughs> we will say the three most hateful words ever put together in the English language. Anybody? Bless your heart. Yes! Because everybody knows that bless your heart really means go screw yourself. <laughs> and if you did it, now you know. Somebody did sign up for all this glamour, though. I'm married. Somebody put a ring on it, y'all. He's not a good old boy, but he's an Ohioan. Are there any Ohioans here? All right, I'll take the one you might not like me after this. Um, my people call Ohioans FIFOs, which is effing idiots from Ohio. <laughs> now, not because you're not pretty, but because y'all come down and take over our lakes and we don't have a lot to live for. So I take him home to meet my people and they're like, Trish is marrying a FIFO. I'm like, he knows what it means, y'all. He knows. Keep it down. It's not good. My brother didn't know what to do with him. My brother was kind of suspect. My brother is the guy, he's a Navy SEAL, my little brother, David. And thank you, thank you so much. He's an angel. But he was the guy that before he went into the military, he was gangly looking, y'all know what I'm talking about, like long, odd appendages, like 110 pounds, and he's six foot four, right? <laughs> he comes through the SEAL program, and now he's 220 and hotter than fish grease. And again, I can say that because it's legal where I'm from. <laughs> hot, he's hot. But his guy friends have not let him know that he is attractive. So he still thinks he's goofy looking. And he's st uh, stationed down in Coronado Island. So he comes up to visit me, and we watch ball games on Sunday. Sundays. And we're up at the bar, sitting there watching a game, and this little L.A. booby girl walks up, just, you know, all this, <laughs> bounces up to him and taps him on the shoulder, and he's just sitting there at the bar watching a game. She goes, um, excuse me, um, can I have a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I'm sitting there, my brother, without turning around, y'all, leans over, grabs a stack of napkins and goes, there you go. <laughs> and the little girl stands there for a second and holds napkins, just stands there and goes, uh, okay. And just kind of bounces <laughs> off. And I wait till she gets out of earshot and I said, Dave, buddy, what were you doing? That little girl was hitting on you. He goes, Trish, that's a crock of crap. When you went to take a pee, two other girls came and asked for the same damn thing. This place is crap customer service. <laughs> 
I'm Trish Sargas. Thank y'all so much. You sweet little angel. So sweet.